about myself. I'm from Finland and uh, leading three companies, one of them being uh, Marie Care, other ones with evacuation lighting and dynamic price tags for, for fashion industry, so three different things. I've been in, in global business for 25 years and uh, leading and learning every day more. I'm otherwise normal, but I'm engineer, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, I try to behave. Uh, the reason for learning more and to try to teach people more is, is of course, my colleagues and, and my friends, of course, you, but the daughter who I have in the home. So my regards to Iris. And uh, I, I'm waking up every morning so that I'm eager to, to, to see things better than they were yesterday. And I want to improve. Is, is it then the way how I behave myself or, or how, how the technologies are working? And uh, I will stand already a couple of minutes over there in the stand in the atrium. And I have already repeated a couple of times that, yes, I'm from Finland. Finland, mm, promised land of, of technologies and inventions. We are like propeller heads like this. But let me tell you what's happening now in Finland. They are having a spring party. And they will continue, luckily, tomorrow when I will join in, they will uh, wash up the statues and drink with the families and, and celebrate with the families and hopefully there will be a sunny day. That's about it. Let's put it up for a side for a minute. minute. Maricare is an eager uh, company for finding technologies for elderly care. And I'm here to speak about the technology. James is going to be supporting me uh, with how you guys would be benefiting out of this. You are much more clever than me with the dementia, both of us, I assume, so that we will devel develop our product based on the feedback what you are giving to us. Because we want to serve you and your customers as, as the residents and with uh, people with dementia better than we did yesterday. Uh, Please come and visit us at, at, at on the uh, atrium. I will tell you more about the company itself. But this is not a brand new thing. We have been here for 10 years already, and uh, the installations are all more than 3,000 around the world. The biggest installations are in Australia and China and, and Denmark, and of course in Finland. But, but usually we tend to say that we Finns don't deliver too much to Finland. We deliver globally. Thank you, Yari. Um, so my name is James Puttick from Direct Healthcare Solutions, um, and we're the company that are, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, UK reseller for um, the smart floor, which we're going to talk about now. Um, I was university educated in uh, uh, Hertfordshire, got a degree in geography, which doesn't really help much with what I'm doing now, <laughs> other than I could find my way here. Um, I've got 13 years experience in this industry. I started um, in, uh, with a hoist manufacturer before setting up Direct Healthcare Solutions. Um, I take an active role in the business, and um, I'm a proud father of four children, so I just beat Yari on that one. Um, Easily. Or he beats me, depending on how you view having four <laughs> children. Um, so the company was uh, formed again by myself in 2010, and we supply and install a wide range of healthcare equipment. Um, our customers include care homes, hospitals, schools, private individuals. Um, we work on new build projects with architects, um, uh, builders, um, and we were appointed the Marie Care reseller in 2018. Um, the key aim of our business at the moment is to develop the use of the LC Smart Floor in the UK and um, helping to improve the lives of uh, people with living with dementia. <coughs> Some of our other partners we're also working with, just to give you a flavour of what we do as a business, um, Goldman Ceiling Hoist from Denmark, uh, Reval Baths uh, uh, from, ba um, from France, Presselit and Ropox are a um, height adjustable bathroom equipment from Denmark, Aster Bannerman is a German bathing manufacturer, um, Jebrit are uh, a German wash and dry toilet manufacturer, and apologies if some of you know these already, Closomat are a UK based, um, again, wash and dry toilet manufacturer, and most importantly, obviously, Maricare with the uh, smart floor from Finland. So we're able to put together a, a package for, for our clients and our customers. Um, 
obviously looking at where all those companies are from, we have a keen eye on the B word, which I will also, like Alison, not mention. Um, but hopefully we uh, go to any bumps in the road with that. And I'll hand you back to Yari. Yeah, as I said, we are, we are not uh, just Finland-based. We are doing everything on, on, on the Europe and, and globally. And just supporting here James and, and his team to, to get into the UK market. But about the smart floor, we make uh, visibility with, a, with a privacy to residents uh, with dementia or elderly people's home. In, in the short words, we make the, the floor like an iPad so that it shows how the, how the residence is moving there with the highest privacy settings and that kind of things. We don't use cameras. We don't want to see what's happening in there and we respect that. And there's no need for the residents to remember to wear or, or, or carry anything with it, with it. Just continue the normal life as it is. What do we get out of that then? Uh, of course, we can re react on, on the falls and, and needed, need of help by seeing that somebody is now waking up and standing up and then probably is needing the way uh, to be assisted to toilet or something like that. Uh, night shifters are, are screaming for this because they know that if people are sleeping or hovering around in, in the room. Staff is screaming for this because they know that there's a, th that gives them a peace of mind that they know what the residents are doing, even not checking and running around and, and with that kind of things. So they are not overstressed all the time. They are, I would say that they are on the top of the wave rather than uh, firefighting the things. People don't want uh, uh, to, to, to be, let's say, interrupted in their own homes, so we can see remotely if people are okay, so no routine checkings. Resource management, because we can share the, the task easily. And what is now very, very important is the preventive part of that. We can see how the behavior in the rooms is changing over time. How was the behavior in January? How was it in, in March? How was it in, in December? So comparing those data, what the floor is giving to you, you can see that, okay, there's less activity, no going in the balcony anymore, more of less toileting, more bedtime, that kind of things. Uh, of course, it's a tooling for, for the, the managers to see that how the nurses are doing around. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, that's that kind of. Could you please shut it off? Thank. You. Okay. I will try to continue. So the continue. So it's, uh, it's a tool for dementia for without restraints and restrictions. What is it then? How does it help them? Is that if we start with the left hand side, it give it gives the information when somebody is entering the room or exiting the room. It's of course giving the alarm of the flow falls. It's, uh, it's also measuring the activity in the room. It's creating every time a data point when I'm walking there around like this. So everything is recorded and put on a database. And that can be used after years or, or next day, whatever. It can be... Uh, uh, connected so that it's um, adjusting the lighting based of the activity, so that put lights on uh, during the night when you go to the toilet, so that you, you can see that, which helps a lot of elderly people. It uh, gives an alarm when somebody is going out. That's great, they go out, but if it's extended, and as in Finland, it tends to be cold sometimes, so if the outing is more than 50 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever, then it gives an information that, yeah, the residence has been out there for three minutes now on the balcony without, probably without, without the proper uh, clothing or whatever. This is not limiting. This is giving you a bo more possibilities. Bed alarm, when I step into the bed or step out from the bed, that will be, will be counted. And then toilet, same thing. This can also be used as a burglar alarm if that is needed. So you can switch it on that if there's any activity, it sends you a message. And it's only a thin, less than one millimeter thin foil under the any top floor installed. So, so that's nothing visible in the room. No electronics, no... No, no, no visible things. 
this could be one one department from uh, from a um, care home and this how it could look like that there's somebody moving in the room uh, actually exiting bed from room 43 that gives an alarm there's a nurse coming now to help him or her and that kind of visibility is available on time any place in the world with a, with a handheld or then in the nurse's room everything is possible you just need to 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 find the wave over there all the alarms can be set individually to any any rooms it's damn easy. Oh, sorry, my word. It's very easy, and, and usually, usually it's made so that the users, making the nurses, are adjusting them based on the residents' needs and daily activities. Everything is transferred to any uh, any nurse call systems. Integrations are, are easy and available. End of the day, this is about the money and, and quality. So. Uh, we have been measuring with the third party uh, independent uh, parties that it reduces uh, the falls, of course, and other injuries, and definitely during the night time. It's also saving time, s uh, reducing sick leaves and laundry and, and medical supplies. The medical supplies is is the thing what I'm voting for to reduce is because sometimes uh, somehow I see that it's an easy way to dope the residents to, to be managing <coughs> managing that up to the next day but with the activity you could do much more. I will hand over to James so that he can speak more about the dementia. <coughs> Thank you Yari. Um, so I'll just run through some of the information on how this can work with um, residents with dementia. So again, Yari touched on some of these, but <coughs> you're, you can take a normal pattern of movement for a resident. Is that movement around a room increasing or decreasing over time, and, and, and do you need to intervene in some way there? Um, again, any challenging behaviour, um, if you may be seeing people become aggressive outside of their rooms, can you go back and look at what was happening in their room prior? Um, to see if there's any triggers for that behaviour um, when you're not in a room with them. Are they maybe pacing around the room on their own, getting agitated? Um, fall detection has been obviously spoken about. As soon as somebody falls, it alerts the staff and you can respond immediately. All of that data is then recorded. Um, nighttime and daytime activity, again, is somebody getting up and going to the toilet a lot during the night? Um, maybe they've got a bladder infection. You can pick that up early, reducing then the, the medical cost and the improving the condition and the lifetime, life of the resident. Um, again, we've got a little image of a heat map there, so you can also build a heat map of where someone's moving around in the room. Are they spending a lot of time standing by the window? Are they walking around in one corner of the room when, when you're not there? This is all information you can build up without having to be physically in the room with somebody. Um, and it able, enables you to meet your resident's needs in a variety of different ways. So somebody's physical requirements, such as their exercise. Are they moving around enough? Are you getting up? We spoke about, uh, somebody else spoke about the um, mobility and exercise uh, system with dementia. So you can see how someone's moving around. In terms of nutrition, are they going to uh, into their kitchen? Are they opening the fridge? Are they, it doesn't tell exactly what they've eaten, but it gives you an indication that they're going in and out and getting some food. Um, again, are they using the toilet? Um, and they're safe, are they resting? So are they getting a nap at, in the afternoon? Is that nap increasing in duration or shortening? Are they getting enough sleep at night time? You can, night staff can hand that on to day staff to say this person was up a lot in the night. They may be more tired and susceptible to falls during the day. So you can keep an eye a bit more closely on that resident. Again, if a resident wants to be in their room and left alone, they can be in their room and left alone, but you've got something there that's just keeping an eye to make sure that they're safe. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, some selected references here. Again, Yari touched on these before. Um, there's nearly a thousand here, um, 956 because I counted them earlier. Um, but there is uh, over 3,000 installed globally. And as Yari said, China and Australia have some uh, very large installations there. So, overall, how does this benefit everybody concerned with uh, caring for people with dementia and elderly residents? Um, as we touched on before, um, early detection of conditions can then help with um, uh, getting to the bottom of what's happening there, using medication, early intervention, and, and getting people back up and better quicker. Um, it's safety for residents and the staff. So there's a full record of, for example, if somebody's fallen in their room, 
at this time, within a minute, two staff members were there. They tell you which staff members were there. And then this is all fully recorded um, and traceable. Um, there's no disturbance to the resident. They don't need to remember to put on a pendant or, or a wristband. It's just on all the time. They can go about their daily lives. Um, and it's reliable and 24 seven, it's always on. Um, it was touched on before with the time and the resource savings. So again, if you can manage your staff more, you can maybe reduce the amount of staff you need in day, you can increase the, the uh, night staff or vice versa, but you can have accurate information of where and when you're needed. Um, and it gives peace of mind for relatives as well, which is obviously very, very important. And in terms of um, with someone like Alison here from the CQC and reporting, um, you can go back and get all the history and all the data from either activity in one specific room to looking at potentially how many falls you've had in a whole area in, in a month or over a specific period of time. So that brings us uh, to the end of that element. Um, if you'd like to, we've got the smart floor set up in the uh, atrium, so please come and see us. We can show you how it all works as a live demonstration. We're more than happy to give you more information there. Um, as said, I'm James Puttick from Direct Healthcare Solutions. Yari from uh, all the way from Finland. So thank you, Yari, for coming here from Finland, especially on a, one of their special bank holidays. So thank you very much for your time.